failure. Nobody really wants to be associated with that word, especially nowadays where our lives are on social media. Because when you try anything new, like a new business, a change of career, or even a YouTube channel, and then share that online, you're hoping that the people around you get to witness your growth and success. But on the flip side of things, you're also giving everyone a front row seat if things go wrong. And the very thought of failing in front of everyone, from your judgmental aunt who keeps asking if you found a real job yet, to your friends who think that your art is just a hobby, to strangers on the internet that you want to impress, all of this pressure is enough to paralyze anyone to not even try. So I've been reading this book called The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck by Mark Manson and it talks about how to choose what to pour your energy into, aka what to give a fuck about. But what I found really intriguing was the book's take on failure and how failure might not actually be a bad thing. I believe that you can't um, get your successes without failure because you will never know success if you don't fail. That's Isabel Kanan. She's a friend I've known since high school who migrated to Canada 10 years ago and has built a career in the North American entertainment industry. You might recognize her from CBC's Air Force, the hit web series Haunted or Hoax, and their group The Tita Collective, among many other stage, TV, and film productions. So if there's anyone more perfect to talk to about embracing failure on the path to success, that would be Isabel. So I have my boobs, and then this is the mic here, and then it doesn't touch anything. So, hi. <laughs> Hello. I remember from high school you wanted to be a math teacher. Yeah. Yeah. So, how did you become an actress? <laughs> this is what happened. I was in math to become a math teacher, and I was learning all these things, but I didn't see the point. I didn't need all that because I just wanted to teach. And for me, it, it just didn't rationalize in my head to do four years of something that I don't even need just to do what I like. I switched to philosophy and I was doing amazingly in that. I was one year from graduating and I was doing great and I met someone who just graduated the acting program and was telling me about it. And I was one year off and I was like, that's what I wanna do. Like many of us, Isabel's current career wasn't where she thought she'd end up in. But what we often forget is that a career, or just life in general, never really goes along a straight path. So the fastest way to find what we are meant to do is to follow your curiosity and try different things. So then, in retrospect, did you feel like you had to go through all these stages before you could land in acting? Yes, I totally feel that for sure because in the class, there were some people that just came straight from high school and they didn't have the nuances. They didn't, you know, they just didn't get it because for them it's just another class or whatever. I felt like I needed all those to find my passion and I'm just glad I did because there are so many people that don't even. How do you define success for you then in your career? I think for me, it's the amount of people I've touched through my work. And, you know, it's one thing to be an actor and to be able to do what you love to do. But it's another thing to get these, these, these um, to, to fan get mails. To and, yeah, to get to people and, and to touch them because you're influencing them in some way. And it's for the better. On the flip side of that, how would you define failure? Failure is stopping to reach people because then you've isolated yourself and now it's being selfish of well what are you putting out in the world? The path to our dreams is going to be met by a lot of challenges but that's actually something we should expect in order for us to grow. Rather than avoiding uncomfortable situations, learn to run head on into it knowing that you'll be better off having gone through the discomfort. As a wise man once said, Dude, sucking at something is the first step towards being sort of good at something. Sophie views setbacks not as a dead end, but a detour to something greater. Failure then is not the opposite of achievement, but rather, failure is a necessary step towards success. Hey 
everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. I know this video is something a bit different from my channel, but lately I've been wanting to create something a bit more meaningful and insightful, but still within the realm of being a creative and being an artist. I was really inspired by the storytelling techniques of Matty Avella and Shelby Church and tried to emulate that flow into this project. Also, huge thank you to Isabel for agreeing to be a part of this project. Like, you didn't have to, but thank you so much. I really appreciate your time and your effort. And also, thank you to my instructor, Jody Mercier, for her guidance and for pushing me to tell this story in the best way that I can. And the ironic thing is that this video is how to not be afraid of failure. Yet, I was putting so much pressure on myself to make it as perfect as I can. In a way, creating this piece of content that you're watching right now became like an exercise for me to just tell my story the best way that I know how to right now and just put it out there and let it go and know that I'm gonna become a much better storyteller with each content that I put out. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of it. Did you like it? Did you find it inspiring? Do you want to see more content like this? Because I've been starting to gain a tiny bit of a, an interest in interviewing people. But I mean, I still have a ways to go with breaking out of my shell and learning to talk to people. Thank you so much again for watching, and oh yeah, like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram. And with all that said, create your own adventures, and I'll see you in the next video.